All right, guys, so welcome back to the channel. Thank you for hanging out, spending a few moments here with me. Now, I get asked the question of how do you make your 5.7 quicker? How do you, you know, start the modifying process? And really, this video is to address the tuning aspect of it. Oh, my God. It feels like a brand new car, right? <laughs> That's the way I felt. I was like, man, this thing is awesome. And uh, I'm going to roll that footage in a, in a moment. But really, these are some things that you should consider doing before you actually start tuning. Uh, the first one, if you have a, a new 5.7, uh, whether Charger, Challenger, whatever, uh, 300, is actually upgrading the rims and tires. Uh, the 5.7 produces a lot of torque. And uh, out of factory, your, your rim and tire setup is just not not enough for all that performance uh, so as soon as you get it rims tires in the back get yourself a nice set of um, you know summer tires or even a, a, a drag radial street tire and you'll notice a huge difference the next thing is upgrading the uh, differential okay many of these cars come with open differentials meaning one one wheel will be doing all the work while the other one's on vacation make sure you upgrade to a 309 limited slip and if you don't plan on supercharging, I would consider a shorter gear like a 370, 390. Once you have that situated, you should notice that the 5.7 off the line is actually a much better vehicle. From there, I would actually consider doing some kind of a, a throttle body, an intake, and potentially even exhaust work. Now, once you have those pieces in place, a tune would really wake up everything. And that's pretty much what we're gonna talk about today, the tuning aspect. It's super simple, and always keep this in mind, if you have a 2015 and up, you're gonna have to get a PCM swap. If you have 14 and prior, you're good to go. You could get yourself a tuner and just start tuning. All right. So how much did you get it for? Uh, I think it was like 171, uh, 671. 671, okay. And you spoke to the salesperson. You yeah. spoke to someone at Diablo and said, you didn't need to update this, yeah, right? So okay. Because it already comes up to so I, I did this know. like three years ago, okay. and I, I remember having to do some kind of an update to it, but... Oh, okay. Okay. Um, I'm just going by what he said. He All right. Says, um... We're going to connect the T2 up to the OBD2 port, and uh, we're just going to install the uh, the 93 octane tune. It's labeled as the, um, the Diablo tune. So we got it plugged into the OBD2 port. This is fairly simple stuff right here. So what's going to happen is the T2 is going to back up the stock tune and then we're going to install uh, the Diablo tune. So you go to tuning. You only have what an intake and um and an exhaust, right? Correct. Okay. And the um, I have the throttle body that we changed. Okay. So intake, throttle body, exhaust, and stock tune. So and we have the pedal mode. Okay. Turn ignition on, or put it into the run mode. So just push. That would be on, but that's not run mode though. Run is the second one, yep. right? Okay, so we're yep. in run mode. I'd rather somebody that's done it before knows a little more. So when you go to tune vehicle, you get a whole bunch of different options. Okay. Now the Diablo tune, guys, is the one that's 93. The first one that I tried, 91 tune, mm -hmm. that was really nice. I never tried the Jammer cold air intake one. Um, that's interesting. I don't know what the parameters are on the Jammer, but we're gonna go with a Diablo tune. That's, that's their standard 93 tune. Okay. Press continue. You can, okay. So I believe this is the part where they start backing up your original. Yeah, this is where they back up your original PCM tune. Okay. Uh, so your stock tune, so you can always revert back.
So we got the tune loaded up, ready to rock and roll. So we're gonna hit the continue, go to the main menu. Now the, the T2 doesn't have to be plugged all the way. You know, it doesn't have to stay in your OBD2 port. Uh, we'll just keep it for, for now. Um, so we're gonna start it up, see how it, how it, uh, how it goes. Hopefully no check engine lights. check engine man uh, we just installed the 93 octane tune um, and you know let's we'll, we'll start off taking it easy you know don't don't right. beat the shit out of it but let's uh let's just cruise. yeah let's cruise right now and then and then you know kind of tell tell us you know the difference between when it was stock and and the 93 did it right. matter uh, so let's go the the other way and when you tune it, you're like, wow, the, it, it really just, the yeah. Hemi picked up. But I want to hear it from you yeah. because my experience was, was fun. I, I was like, wow. Well, I mean, I just, I just laid my foot on the pedal and she just, just drive nice. So we'll pop on the highway. The beautiful part about the, the, the Diablo is it, it's so simple. Like, you saw the process. It literally yeah, took us five you minutes. Know, I thought it was going to take longer than that. Yeah. To tell you the truth. All right, let's see it. I'm not even launching on the gas pedal yet. Wow. Does it feel like you picked up some ponies? Absolutely. No doubt. I didn't even push it down all the way yet. <laughs> wow. Pretty cool. You definitely can feel that. Now, in comparison to like when you put the intake in and the throttle body and the exhaust, do you feel like this is a more uh, noticeable upgrade from yeah, a performance definitely, angle? Okay. Definitely. I mean, see, like right there, I'm just putting my foot down a little bit and she wants to go. Look, I'm not even launching on it yet. Wow. That's, that's crazy. Yeah, so basically the tune just you know changes the parameters i'm sure your rpms are are uh, a little bit higher uh so your engine is you know yeah. getting ready to ready to go at all times definitely uh definitely a difference so normally what's when you're stock everything everything were you using 93 octane i or wasn't i switched over because i knew i was going to be doing this so i wanted the car to run on it for a little bit and I just, you know, continue to, like, last night I even... Yeah, that's something that you guys should keep in mind. If you're planning on doing a 93 tune, fill up a 93 yeah. a couple of times before just you load up empty. the tune. go you're empty. Gonna, you're gonna go empty. I went empty <clears throat> and started fresh, yeah. ran it, and then I ran it again. So at least I know it's completely through and it's only running on 93. Yeah, you don't want that, you don't, you don't want to load wow. up a 93 tune with 89 in there, you no, know? No. So... See, but now with the more aggressive tuning, I think it's taking uh, advantage of the other modifications that you put in place. Okay. The throttle body, the intake, the exhaust. See, I didn't know. I thought that oh, we have to, you know, like download. Wow, jeez. I thought we had to like download it all into it, like put each specific thing into nope. it. Ha, 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 ha. 